Okay, well, uh, let's first look at the shortwave part of the radiation budget. We start out with a hundred parts of solar energy. Let's see what happens to those hundred parts uh, within the atmosphere and the Earth's surface. Well, 21% is reflected back out to space from cloud tops. 7% is backscattered by the atmosphere back out to space. And 3% is reflected from the Earth's surface. So if we add those up, 21 plus 3, 24 plus 7, 31 parts of that initial 100 units of solar energy are reflected out to space. Um, and that's what gives us Earth's albedo of uh, roughly 31%, or an albedo of 0.31. Okay, well that leaves behind 69 parts of solar energy. So let's see what happens to those 69 parts. 3% are absorbed uh, within the stratosphere by ozone. 18% is absorbed by the rest of the atmosphere uh, or by uh, dust. Um, and then 3% is absorbed by clouds. So if we add that together, that's 18 plus 3, 21 plus 3, that's 24. 24 parts are absorbed somewhere within the atmosphere. So that's 69 that weren't reflected to space. Of those 69, 24 are absorbed. Um, that leaves behind now 45. Well, what happened to those remaining 45 units of solar energy? Well, 25 are directly absorbed by the Earth's surface. And nearly as much, 20% is actually diffuse radiation that's scattered forward towards the surface. Um, the reason that we look up into the atmosphere and we see blue sky is because of the preferential uh, scattering of the atmosphere in the wavelengths that correspond uh, to blue light. And that's that 20% of diffuse radiation. So that's the short wave budget of the atmosphere radiation budget.